At this point in time, I feel like Bitcoin is very complex for regular users. Even I, who I consider a hardcore internet programming geek, um, find it cumbersome to get my hands on, on, on Bitcoin. I've tried mining for a couple nights. I did um, all the setup on my Mac. It wasn't easy. It almost burns my my uh, my computer. Got really really hot for a couple of nights, and uh, all I got was just a few hundreds of cents. So definitely not worth it uh, mining right now. You you really need to get into it. Probably you need to repair some specialized hardware with GPUs and whatnot to do that. Um, and then if you want to buy Bitcoin because you don't want to go through the hassle of of mining, then you have to go to these exchanges and there's a big one I think it's MT Gox or something like that and then when you try to buy um, I couldn't use uh, a PayPal account to buy there I couldn't use my credit card I had to sign up to, to some unknown merchant services and to me that was a deterrent right there I didn't want to go and sign up again um, into some some company that would take my money and I don't know who they are um, so uh, then there's the whole thing of of understanding what your wallet is and and protecting it, encrypting it, and keeping it safe, and not not losing your encryption uh, key. And some people have lost <laughs> the encryption key and they've lost access to their money. is really stupid. Uh, so knowing how users are, there's no way regular people are going to use this. Um, at this point, all I see here is. Uh, um, Bitcoin used as a um, trading commodity. People are just speculating on where the price is going, and they're just trying to make money on on, on the exchange rate. Um, but I don't see people spending money on Bitcoin because they don't have it. It's just like the super really geeky people who are into Bitcoin that are doing this. So um, all these inconveniences, I think, are great opportunities to make this really easy to use so if I were PayPal I would freaking give users um, the, the possibility of, of creating wallets and storing them on PayPal and then sending money just the way they send money but you just pick to send money from your bank or from your Bitcoin wallet um, so if PayPal is not doing that um, somebody will do this soon and I think it's one of the biggest um, opportunities on the internet right now which I have the time and the financing and the team to do this myself um, anyway that's all I wanted to say and very cool question what happens once everybody has reached the the limit you know what once all, all the, the coins are mined and um, I guess if we had if what would happen like the same question would be what would happen if today's currency was based on gold. Gold is finite, at least on Earth. Um, what would happen? Uh, what we know is that when we have a fiat currency and we just keep printing more money and more money, you know, it's the one renewable resource on Earth. It's really funny when people say that, oh, there's not enough money. Bullshit. You can print all the money you want in the world. If there's one infinite thing, it's money, uh, as it is right now. Um, and we see that money keeps going to the, the people who have money. Uh, money goes to the wealthiest. So if there were no more money to be made uh, and, and this tendency keeps occurring, I guess poor people would ha wouldn't have any money at the end and they would be even more slave to the ones that know how to get money. Um, but then again, a lot of it happens because you have interests and like you couldn't have interest, you know, if, if there's there's a finite amount of currency. So um, it's a very good question you asked, and I hope uh, somebody gives you a better answer, because uh, I don't think I even gave you one on that. <coughs> cool video, Pogobat.